So hey guys, welcome to another profit session episode. And uh, this time, uh, what I what I did was over the pet, over the course of about two days, I recorded every single trade that I did, and I traded a little bit here, a little bit there. So I'm going to show you every deal that I got, and uh, I changed a little bit the format. And uh, I, for, first thing, uh, this time I had less than a million coins, which is a little bit weird because since forever I've had over a million. And then uh, I'll show you the deal that I got, and I'll instantly show you afterwards how much it went for so it'll be easier to follow I think more organized and also all the players are in alphabetical order and so you'll see my coins like jump up and down a little bit and also the profit that it shows in the top I uh, just rounded that up to the nearest hundred so uh, let's begin with the deals here uh, we can see the first one is Aguero for 30,000 the Manchester City one sold for 35,000 very nice and then we have Barrios for 19,000 uh, sold for 22,750. Nice little profit. Then we have Kabaya for for two, which is why I can get 5k profit on him. Very nice. Then here I couldn't show the when I bought him, but I bought him for 6k, sold for 11 uh, something. Then we have another one. You can see I uh, I always like to trade the Vixen farms. They're always very nice to trade. Here we have another example. The last back uh, Crisito. Then we have the Rosario. This was from uh, last week's uh, Infarm. Nice little profit if you don't have too many coins. If you have about like 20,000 coins or something. Then we have Everton. You know, he's a pretty good player to trade, but he's also like very hard to sell. It usually takes a while, so I have to drop his price a lot. Then we have one for one, two, one, two, Fred here. A nice little profit. And the other one, I'm actually sending him to my club to use him in my squad. So yeah. Then we have uh, a Giovanni for 70,000. Uh, which we sell for 79500 Then here probably the best buy of this episode, uh, Giovanni from the, the MLS for 20000 and we sell him as well for uh, 79500 And that's about 55k profit on one player, which is very nice. Can't, can't complain about that. And then we have um, Loris. This one we actually end up losing 100 coins, but uh, not a big deal. Uh, because on the next one, this one I actually sent this guy a trade offer for 30,000 on a 41212 Lowry's and he takes it and I can sell him for 38,000. So nice profit there. Then we have Marcio Azevedo for uh, 22,000, we sell for 27,750. Then we have a 442 Maxis which goes for 14,750, not too much profit but still uh, very decent. Then we have Nani, the new one, a uh, nice little 5k profit on him, very nice. And what we have, we have Quaresma, a nice little player, having my turkey so quiet, if you remember. A uh, nice little 4k profit there. And then we have a Fabio Borschenbach, uh, 400 coins, very, very nice. And he sells for 6900. And you see, I actually found him when I was searching for the this other Fabio Borschenbach that I bought for, for 500. And I found that other one for 400. Very nice. Then we have Sanchez. We have about a lot of Sanchez here. So we have a couple that sell for round 5. This is a 4421, but I didn't bother to change his position. He went for 10k. Nice profit there. And then we have another one, which will sell for about 5k, I believe. Uh, yes. And then we actually have one, which uh, is a 41212. So I changed his position to right mid, so it made more sense. And I actually got him for 600 coins, as you see. So nice profit there for 14,500 coins I sold. So it's basically just profit on that card. I basically got it like for free. And then we have Simon, who has Molly. I couldn't record the players, but I bought him for 25,000. The right back one, the new version, and he sold for 36. Then we have Thiago Silva, the new 85 one, bought for 80, sold for 149. Nice 50k profit once again. Then we have a couple of Timo Shooks here, bought for around 12,000 and sold for around 16, 17,000. And that's it. So just to round it off, uh, total spent was around 690k. Total received uh, without taking away the tax was about 990k, 990k. And total profit just about 245k. So it's a pretty nice profit for a couple of days of worth of trading. Uh, I would say. Uh, putting all of the, the little times that I spent together, I would spend about uh, two hours or so. So yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it took me quite a bit of time to put all the clips together. And uh, other than that, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and bye-bye.